welcome back to my channel. So I thought we would do something a little bit fun today. So I asked you all on Instagram what you wanted to check out today. And overall consensus was thrift stores. So that's where we're going today. Nothing but thrift stores to see what we can find. So I'm going to put the timestamp right here if you want to fast forward right to the haul. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. So starting off at Goodwill, I headed right to the artwork section, which is not characteristic of me, but I decided that I wanted to take a look and see what they had because I felt like I was going to find something good there. And sure enough, I found this. I put it in my cart though because it was still on the fence about it, but undeniably cute. I also found this large artwork piece. I thought it had potential, but it was $150 and that was just way too much for me. However, when I saw this, I instantly knew I was taking this home with me. This was a watercolor piece and it looked perfect. And I found this wooden vase. I thought it was really cute. I don't think you could actually put anything in it, but I liked the mid-century style of it. And unfortunately, no candlestick holders today aside from these ones, and I wasn't interested in them. And I found this piece while looking around. I actually really liked the middle piece and I liked the overall shape of it, but the color was just a little too yellow gold for me. And this stemware piece caught my eye. I actually really love the detail, the roses on top of it, but it wasn't something I needed. However, when I saw this basket, I instantly fell in love. It was coming home with me. And after walking through the aisles a couple of times, I finally stumbled across this lampshade. Literally have been looking for one for months and this one was perfect. But after that, nothing else caught my eye and so it was time to head on out. So I actually found quite a few things that I'm really happy about. Some things that I know I'm gonna have to do minor tweaks to, but honestly, a lot of things that are good as is. So we're gonna go to the next thrift store now. One of my favorite local thrift stores, so let's head on over. So second stop of the day is a thrift store that I really love. Usually has some really great finds like this chair right here. I loved it so much. It was only $20, I think is a great price, but unfortunately don't have the room for it. And I spotted this vase. Now this vase is actually the exact replica of one that I already have, so I didn't pick it up. And love this piece too, but unfortunately really didn't have a need for it. This vintage artwork piece was really beautiful though. Oh, and I really love the shape of this picture. It was gorgeous. I also found this piece right here. I just really love the pressed flowers and it gave me some ideas for upcoming DIYs. And this sewing machine table could have doubled great as an end table. And it was too beautiful to not stop and appreciate. A little surprising, but I actually didn't find much here. So we're gonna go to one more thrift store of the day. So let's check it out. So last but not least with Salvation Army, check out what they had and see what I could find. So I passed up on a few great items here and it was mainly because I really didn't have a need for them, but I really love this lamp and I am kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy it. And this bookend was really cute, but unfortunately there was only one of them. Truly love the detail on this box though. And this basket, another great find. Again, I really didn't have the use or the space for it. Have you ever seen something that you really wanted, but it was just too high up on a shelf for you to grab? Yeah, that's what happened here. And unfortunately, there's a sign specifically saying, don't try to grab it yourself. One of the last pieces that I noticed in this store though was this vase. I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. The texture on it was great and it was a great price. So I was taking it home. Okay, so we're all done. I must have been shopping for a while because my camera died. So I'm recording on my phone, uh, but I'm really happy with what I found overall. I think Goodwill was obviously the best haul of the day, but still really happy with what I got. So with that being said, it's thrift tall time. Okay, so first up is this basket right here. Can't get enough of this style, but honestly, I saw this and instantly saw it being perfect for the bathroom. I think this would be a great storage basket, maybe on the countertop with some rolled up washcloths. It just seemed like a perfect piece to dual purpose as storage, also as decor. So I was really happy about this one. I really love the style of it. I love the curvature of this piece. I love how it dips. And of course, I love anything with handles. So this one was a great grab and it was $4.99, I think is a pretty good price for this piece. It still is in really good condition. I think it's adorable and I think it would be perfect for the bathroom. Next up are some books. I thought these would be perfect coffee table books. They are really beautiful and really interesting too. So this one's called The Discovery of Constable. I honestly really love the book jacket of this. I think the lettering is beautiful and obviously the green hues in this are perfect for either down here or upstairs in my living room.
living room. I think it's just a really nice kind of like retro kind of feel book. And I really love the pictures in it as well. John Constable was a great English landscape painter and I love landscapes. So this is a great book to kind of like dive into and read, but also to have on a coffee table or console table just to peruse through when you feel like it. I want to say that this one was $2.99. I think $2.99 is the lowest the books go at this point. If it was $2.99, great. Technically considered a vintage book, so really happy about that. And the second book I got was called The Turner Collection in the Clore Gallery, if I'm saying that right. But this one, I really love this one. Again, just beautiful artwork pieces. I'm not one to do this, but I know people have in the past taken books like these and used these for artwork. Honestly, just another great coffee table book. It is beautiful. And again, love the book jacket on this. This is probably one where I'll keep the book jacket on and great texture to the book as well. This one, again, I'm not sure of the price. Copyright for this book was 1987. So again, a great vintage book. If I had to guess, I feel like these two books probably came from the same donation pile. Finding these kind of books at Goodwill is very rare, but also I'm really happy that I did. These are gonna be styling books that I have for a very long time and most likely will go up on my console table when it's finished. All right, so next up are these three small mirrors. These are just some very simple pieces, but I really love the detail on them. I do think that these are great for kind of like a small collage of things. When I was doom scrolling on Instagram, I saw this little small uh, arrangement of like small small frames and small pictures. Something about it just made me feel like I do want to create this. So as luck would have it, I actually found these. So these were $1.99 a piece, which I don't think were bad. So they do have like a blue hue underneath. Personally, I'm not a fan of like the blue green that's coming through. So most likely these will be like a simple DIY for me where I do like rub and buff to kind of make them look a little bit more aged, but love them so much. They already have mounting hardware on the back, which is perfect. I think these would be great though, and I do have some wall space left. So I do think these will find a home fairly quickly. Honestly, oh, don't Next up is this artwork piece. It is a watercolor piece. I just thought it was beautiful. I really love the colors in it. Oh, that's so cool. It's a local artist. So this piece is called Winter Shed. So I don't mind black frames at all. I actually have a lot all throughout my house. However, when it comes to artwork with my style trend, I do feel like I lean towards antique vintage kind of look. This frame in particular is a little bit more modern. And for me personally, I kind of envisioned a gold antique style frame with this picture. But I'd like to hear your thoughts Thoughts. Do you think I should keep it in this frame or do you think I should put it in a different style frame? But I am all ears. I'll go with the consensus here. So the picture is a little off center. I think that was the artist's intention. And honestly, I think it adds to the piece as well. Watercolor paintings are something that I would love to find more often. However, for some reason, I don't. So to stumble across a piece like this, just randomly in the thrift store. Honestly, really great. Truly made my day, I love it. And this piece was $6.99. I think $6.99 for this in a really nice style frame is great. And the next thing I picked up has actually been something that I've been looking for a really long time. So it's this lampshade. I have been looking for a lampshade. I kind of wanted the more triangular shape to go with the more traditional feel, but also I needed a lampshade that had the fittings. Surprisingly, very difficult to find. For the longest time, I wasn't finding them at the thrift store. So I was like, you know what? I'll just buy it at a big box store. And actually that was my intention to do this weekend. And then I found this lampshade. It was like a match made in heaven. Now I haven't styled it with the lamp yet, so I'm hoping it looks good, but I'll see about that. And I was fine with the simple style, but to find a pleated one, honestly, I thought that was really lucky. This is obviously a vintage lampshade and it's in really good condition. The inside of it isn't cracked at all. The pleating is in perfect condition. Couldn't be happier. The color isn't a bad color. I think it will work well with upstairs, but I've also seen people paint lampshades before. And if I would, it would go white. But honestly, I just really love this. And the price, the price was amazing too. $2.99 for this lampshade, which if you've shopped for lampshades, you know that's not what you're gonna find. I was so happy to find a beautiful lampshade like this for $2.99. I think that's great. So much better than the other lampshades I've come across anyways. So my unexpected find of the day, which was literally like a perfect find for me. Next up, is this piece right here. So there's a little bit of a story with this piece. I loved it, I really did. Was 
planning on buying it until I flipped it over and saw the price. $9.99 for this piece. I don't know, I thought that was a little outrageous. So I just wanted to see if it was like me in my head, maybe like, maybe I'm making too much out of this. I asked Instagram what they thought. Most agreed that $10 for this is pretty pricey. So I did do my homework. I looked it up and found out on Etsy, similar styles like this are selling for $33. But I just thought still like $10 in a thrift store for this piece seemed a little high. I was on the fence with this piece though. So what did I do? Put it in my car. So when it comes to thrifting, I've learned whenever there's an item that I am unsure about of whether or not to buy, put it in my car. If I can't put it in my car, I stay there. I must stand there until I make my decision. And if I walk away, I better not regret it. So. I put this in my car and it's a pretty small piece as you can see so naturally I forgot about it so when I was ready to check out I noticed as I was putting stuff up there that this was there but it felt like because I forgot about it because it was in my car and I was just like okay so this is honestly the universe's way of saying treat yourself buy it for yourself because honestly you're not gonna go back and put it back on the shelf so just buy it so I did but I did have a vision for this so the small mirrors that you saw previously I actually instantly thought it would style great with this. That was honestly why I was on the fence because I was like, it would look so good together, but it's $9.99. <laughs> so kudos to my forgetfulness for giving me a reason to buy this. Next up is a candle. It's a pumpkin scented candle. I know we are nowhere near fall time, but you know what? I've actually been in need of more candles. When I saw this candle at the thrift store, and it was a nice smell, it's a smell that I actually like, I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. I was like, I don't care that it's not fall. It's a soy wax candle, a vegan soy wax blend. So this one was $4.99. It's probably a little bit cheaper than what I would find for this size if I went to like Walmart and tried to buy a candle there. Honestly, I love to find candles with lids so that once I've used the candle, I can repurpose the jar itself. So $4.99, I didn't think was a bad price and it was worth it to me to pick it up. And last but not least is this vase right here. Really love this vase, the color is beautiful, but I also really love the detail on this. My preference actually is to have vases that have patterns as opposed to very like simple ones. Things like this work in more spaces than I normally would have thought. So yeah, this is a beautiful piece, I love it so much. I love the taper to the bottom. And this one was at Salvation Army. It was only $3.99, which again is a perfect price. This is actually a Pier 1 Imports piece, which is surprising. And the original price for this was $25. So to get this for $3.99, I think is really great. And it's something that I can easily style with. So really happy I picked this one up and really happy to style with it. So nothing but thrift stores today. So thank you again for everyone who voted on Instagram. I'm hoping to do more videos like this where you choose where we're going. But if you liked this video or if you liked anything from the haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll link below for you another video to watch if you're new here or if you're just interested in seeing something of this caliber. I think this is a good follow-up. But I want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed it and so I will see you in the next one. Bye! Actually, I didn't get a lot. Hmm. Okay, so next up are these throb...